My guest today is Penny Spencer, owner of award-winning corporate travel agency Spencer Travel. For 60% of her staff, Spencer Travel has been their only job. And this team dynamic, Penny tells us, is part of the reason for her success. Penny, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, you've been in this industry a long time, 26 years. But you started in a way that I don't think is that common, is that you volunteered your time in order to get the job. Tell us a little bit about that. I did. I was absolutely desperate to get into the travel industry. It's what I knew I wanted to do straight after school. And in those days, um, it was actually quite difficult to get a foot in the door. So I walked around lots of travel agencies and offered my time for free. It took a while. And finally, someone said, yes, OK, you can come in and stamp brochures for us for free, which ended up to be six months. Wow. <laughs> Bit of a long time. But they finally put me on page and um, started as a receptionist. That's great. And now you're the owner of an award-winning travel agency that's been around for a long time. We hear that 60% of your staff, you've been their only employer. What is it about your company culture that keeps them so loyal? Um, I think the main thing is really that I take time to really work with them and work towards their goals, their individual and their personal goals. Um, my general manager, in fact, came to me second year into working for me and said, you know what, Penny, one day I want to sit in your seat. And I said, great, happy to lead you in that direction if that's where you want to be. And today she's general manager. So I think taking the time to really believe in them and work with them with their goals. And I understand that these days a lot of your time in the business is spent training staff and that, that's a high value for you, is that correct? Yes, um, I like to bring juniors into, well obviously that's how I started in the industry, so I believe that's the way that I should continue bringing people into the industry. Um, so therefore obviously we have to train them up, mentor them through, um, through the business, so it might not be myself mentoring, but other staff within the business and other staff training them, because really it's, I like to train them our way, and um, that, that seems to work. Mm. Talking about mentoring, you recently pioneered a new mentoring program for your industry, which is quite a big task to take on. We have a mentoring program, I know how much work it is. Yes. What inspired you to take on such a challenge? Um, well, I was actually part of your mentor program many, okay. many years yes, ago. Yes, you were. <laughs> and I absolutely loved it, and it certainly got me to the next stage in my career. And throughout, from that actually, I've had other mentors along the way. And I really realised that it has helped and it's how you do get ahead. And the travel industry doesn't have a mentor program. Um, lots of other industries do and I thought this is what we need to retain people within our industry and also to get them when they're two, three years into our industry, get them to that next level. Um, because a lot of the time we, we lose them around the three year track because they think, oh, I'm never going to get to the next level. Right, okay. With um, having been in the business for this long, and as you said, you know, some people after three years it's time to go, how do you stay motivated after so many years in that same industry? Myself? Yes. I actually, um, I'm always looking for new challenges and new opportunities. I'm always working towards something different that I can bring to the business. And um, I read a lot and I, I'm in a lot of different business groups on a lot of different committees and that keeps me very motivated, very busy, but very motivated. As a woman who's been in business and your own business for a number of years, what advice would you give perhaps those who are just looking to start a business? I think number one is to, to have the passion, um, to have the drive, the ambition, and also really to um, always be looking for something new and a new opportunity within business. But the main thing I think with starting in business is really continuing along the path that you choose, you know, really taking that journey and making it work. You were saying to me earlier before we started that uh, the moment that you wake up and think, I don't want to go to work today, you should rethink what you're doing. Do you, is that something you believe? Yes, definitely. Because um, if you start to lose that passion, everything else goes down, down the drain really with, with your career. Okay. Penny, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.